Welcome to the tutorial video for the Coupon Tools Control Panel. In this video, we'll take a look at the white label settings in the Control Panel. From the menu on the left, I'll click White Label and then White Label again. Notice that I can change the values for Powered by Name and Powered by Email, as well as the associated URLs. I'll use a fictitious company called Company Name with a fictitious URL of yourcompany.com and an email address of info at yourcompany.com. I'll click Save to store the information. Now let's go to the Third Party App Installation tab. Here I can provide JavaScript code to integrate additional functionality, like a live chat system, for example. I can write the code here or simply cut and paste the code from my authoring application to the text box and then click Save to store it. Let's move to the Contact tab. The information you put here will be visible to your sub-accounts. I'll type out some contact information here for a fictitious company and then click Save to store it. On the Account Payment tab, you can configure the payment settings. A payment page can be enabled for sub-accounts. You can choose from one of our integrated payment systems. I'll configure a few payment options. Here you can see where I can provide a description for the payment page as well as the terms and conditions. When I'm finished, I can click Save to store the information. The final tab is Order Logs where I can go to view information about orders placed by sub-accounts. Let's go to the Layout Settings page now. Here on the Customize Logo tab, I can provide my own image file for the logo. On the Color Scheme tab, I can choose the colors for the control panel. I can customize items like the primary and menu buttons, specifying a different color for a normal state and when a user is hovering over the button. I can also choose the background color. I can specify the colors by clicking the color swatch or by typing in the color code. I'll choose some random colors for our example, and once I'm done, I'll click Save to store the changes. I can also customize the login page by choosing my own image. I can also configure the login page to be installed on my own domain with a DNS record or iframe. On the Customize Validation Stamp tab, I can choose an image to represent a branded stamp overlay for validated coupons. That leaves the Marketing Materials and Registration Form pages. On the Marketing Materials page, you'll find sample templates, PowerPoints, and other helpful content. On the Registration Form page, you can configure a registration form to be embedded on your website as a way to land subscribers as sub-accounts of your white label. For example, to generate trial accounts for potential customers. Thank you for watching this tutorial about the white label settings in the control panel.